Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded uh, trapezoid uh, ABCD, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this uh, side length uh, CD is four units, this side length BC is uh, two units, this side length uh, AB is one unit, and finally this uh, side AD is uh, three units. And moreover, this uh, side AB is parallel to this side CD. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's recall the definition of a trapezoid. Sometimes we call it uh, trapezium. A quadrilateral with at least uh, one pair of parallel sides as you can see in this given diagram this is our trapezoid since uh, these uh, two sides uh, are parallel to each other and now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula area equals to height h times uh, base a plus base b all over 2 and here we can see our base uh, is uh, lowercase a and other base uh, is uh, lowercase b at the height uh, of this uh, trapezoid is uh, lowercase h and now let's revert our attention back to our own problem our this uh, base uh, is uh, lowercase uh, a and this uh, other base uh, is uh, lowercase uh, b and bear in mind uh, lowercase a equals to 4 and lowercase b equals to 1 and furthermore, uh, this uh, height uh, AE of this trapezoid is being represented by lowercase uh, h. So therefore, now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, height uh, h before we could calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid. And now we are going to think uh, outside the box to make our job simple. So therefore, we are going to draw some uh, auxiliary lines. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have drawn this uh, line uh, AF that is parallel to this side uh, BC. And since uh, these uh, sides are uh, parallel to each other as well, so therefore uh, this uh, side AF uh, is going to be equal to this side BC. If this side length is 2, then this side length has got to be 2 units as well. And furthermore, uh, this uh, length uh, FC is going to be equal to this length uh, AB. If this length is 1, then this uh, segment FC length is going to be 1 unit as well. And now let's make an observation. We know that this whole uh, CD length uh, is uh, 4 units. This uh, segment length uh, FC is 1. So therefore, uh, this remaining uh, segment uh, length uh, df is going to be 4 minus 1 is going to give us uh, 3 units and now let's make an observation we can see that uh, this uh, side length uh, df uh, is equal to this uh, side length uh, ad both of them uh, are uh, 3 units each and now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, adf and we can see this is an isosceles triangle since this side length uh, is equal to this side length and in this uh, next step i have dropped this uh, perpendicular dp on this uh, side uh, af as you can see and now we can see that this triangle uh, adf is an isosceles triangle and this uh, is our 90 degree angle so therefore this perpendicular dp is going to bisect uh, this side uh, af into two equal parts this uh, segment uh, FP is going to be equal to this segment uh, PA and we know that this uh, whole uh, side uh, AF uh, is uh, 2 units so therefore uh, this segment uh, FP is going to be 1 and likewise this segment AP is going to be 1 as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, APD and we are interested uh, in calculating this uh, side uh, PD. So therefore we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. 
and here uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 3 and our other two legs uh, are uh, AP and uh, PD. So therefore let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, PD side length uh, square plus uh, 1 square equal to our hypotenuse is 3 square. Let's simplify. We got uh, PD square plus 1 equals to 9 and we are going to subtract 1 uh, from both sides. This is gone. So therefore uh, PD square turns out to be equal to 8 and now we are going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides and here we can see square and square root is gone. So therefore uh, our PD length uh, equals to the square root of 8 is same as 2 times the square root of 2 units. So therefore uh, our uh, this side PD length uh, turns out to be 2 times square root of 2 units. And now let's focus on this uh, isosceles triangle uh, ADF once again. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ADF. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base times height. In our case, uh, the base of this uh, triangle uh, ADF uh, is uh, 2 units, whereas the height uh, of this very same triangle is 2 times uh, square root of 2. So therefore, uh, the area of this uh, triangle uh, ADF is going to be a half times uh, the base is uh, 2 times the height is uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 2. And here we can see 2 and 1 divided by 2 cancel each other out. So therefore if we simplify the right hand side the area of this uh, triangle is going to be 2 times the uh, square root of 2 square units. So the area of this uh, triangle ADF turns out to be 2 times square root of 2. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number 1. And now let's make an observation once again and uh, focus on this uh, triangle uh, ADF. And here in this uh, next step I have dropped uh, this perpendicular uh, AE and I have labeled uh, this uh, perpendicular uh, the height uh, H of this uh, trapezoid. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ADF once again. And once again let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. And this time uh, the base uh, of this triangle uh, ADF uh, is uh, 3 units. Whereas uh, the height uh, of this triangle uh, ADF uh, is uh, lowercase h. So therefore the area of this triangle ADF is going to be a half uh, times uh, the base of this triangle is 3 times the height uh, is lowercase h. And if we simplify the area of this triangle ADF uh, turns out to be 3 times h uh, divided by 2 square units. So the area of this uh, triangle ADF turns out to be 3 times h uh, divided by 2. And I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number 2. And here we are ended up with these uh, two equations. Equation 1 and equation 2. And now we are going to compare these uh, two equations. And now we can see the left hand sides uh, are identical. So therefore we can equate the right hand sides uh, as well. So therefore I can write down 3 times h uh, divided by 2 equals to 2 times uh, square root of uh, 2. And now I am going to isolate h by multiplying by 2 third on this side and likewise 2 divided by 3 on this side as well. And here we can see 3 and 3 is gone, 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore our height uh, h value turns out to be, if we multiply this uh, times this, that's going to give us 4 times uh, square root of 2 divided by 3 units. So thus our height uh, of this uh, trapezoid turns out to be 4 times square root of 2 divided by 3. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate uh, the area of uh, this uh, trapezoid uh, ABCD. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid uh, formula once again. Height H times uh, A plus B 
all over to and in our case uh, our base uh, a is uh, four units our base uh, b is uh, one unit and our height uh, h uh, is four times square root of two divided by three so therefore the area of this uh, trapezoid is going to be a half times our height is four times square root of two divided by three and then times our a length is four our length b is one and now we can see four plus one is going to give us five as you can see in this uh, next step and if we simplify everything on the right hand side the area of this uh, trapezoid is going to be 10 times uh, square root of 2 divided by 3 square units so thus the area of this uh, trapezoid turns out to be 10 times square root of 2 divided by 3 square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 4.714 square units as well Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.